Hi guys, Larry from Oregon Coast, October 26th, and I'm doing my final season video on, my, on a growing strawberries and hydroponics. Well, the cold has came in. It's been right around 44 degrees for our highs this last week. Uh, unusually cold, but to my amazement, it's still uh, producing strawberries. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut her down. Um, I just don't think I'm be able to get any more ripe with this cold weather. Well, this last week we've had the highs around the mid 40s, upper 40s, and it's unusually cold for this time of the year. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut her down, and then uh, I'm gonna take a look here. Well, I got some uh, video clips from uh, the summer and this uh, second season uh, harvest, so we're gonna take a look at those, and then, then we're gonna come back. July 31st, and I didn't fast my bird net down good enough, and the deer got me, so. You got these four, these three really good, so we'll see how long this uh, takes. Actually, they got the, almost the whole bottom row there, so. All right, I'm gonna take a view here and see how long it takes for these bad boys to bounce back, so. July 31st. September 1st, and the late, late summer strawberries are starting to kick in. Look a lot smaller than the beginning of the summer. I'm not complaining. All right, so let's take a little look here. Well, berries are definitely uh, a lot smaller. Uh, got a couple of nice ones here, but uh, seem like there's gonna be a lot more. Lots and lots of uh, flowers getting ready to turn into the little baby strawberries. All right, we'll be back probably end of the month and shut this bad boy down. September seventh, really starting to pump out the uh, strawberries. They're all over, huh, Henry? Looking awesome. Every row. All right, let's see how many we get, guys. September 10th, and this late season harvest has been awesome. Last three or four days, uh, been getting quite a few strawberries here. So most have been on a little bit of smaller size, but getting a few big ones. But definitely, definitely not the size of a uh, hi baby. Definitely not the size of the beginning of the summer. All right, let's get picking again. September 11th and uh, another nice harvest. Man, I think I, I got probably uh, another day or two of a really good harvest here. But the late season, man, awesome. Just awesome. September 15th and uh, we're starting to see uh, some of the big ones starting to come back. So come on over. Yep, yeah. there's an one. How many strawberries have we got, Henry? <laughs> whole bunch. Harvest after harvest. Holy cow, look at the size of that thing. That's a big one, huh, Henry? Yeah. Are you going to eat that one or is Mama going to get that one? Mama can get it. September 15th, and uh, it's like we're still going to get a few more going in uh, probably the next week or two. It's uh, September 19th and it feels like Groundhog's Day. <laughs> Strawberries all over again. Here's a couple of monsters of wine about not having any big ones and uh, starting to get a few of the bigger ones come out. Nice size. How's that for a harvest, huh? Not bad, not bad at all. September 22nd and this is our third day of heavy rain. Still producing some nice tomatoes, but uh, I think this is about the end of the, the season. Once this rain comes, uh, these berries will start getting gray mold, and uh, there's not a whole lot I can do. I can try spraying, but uh, this is probably the final harvest. All right, that's what I was talking about the, the gray mold there. This one, it's already starting to kick in, so that's pretty much a sign that. Uh, Grown season could be over. Another shot of the gray mold. Ah, it's a shame because I have a whole bunch more berries getting ready to come through. And another strawberry gray mold. Ah. Well, we got rain uh, forecast for the next three days, so it's not looking good for my uh, my strawberry tower. It's really hard to be depressed when uh, you end up harvest like this. 
October 12th, and uh, even with the cold weather we've been having, uh, still pumping out the strawberries. I mean, it's raining. It was raining a few minutes ago, but pretty incredible. See, the leaves are starting to turn, so uh, fall is coming, and it's coming fast. But, uh, still, and they're a nice little harvest here. Plants are big and healthy, and uh, let's see if I can budge one of these up, see if we can actually see the roots here. Probably not going to be able to pull it up. Ooh, pretty nasty. Pretty brown. That's high as I can pull it. The roots are actually going to grow in both directions. I was going to shut the system down, but uh, <laughs> it's still flowering and uh, still got strawberries coming out. So I'm going to go ahead and let it ride out till, uh, till the cold weather says no moss. For the last two weeks, um, for my water changes, I haven't been adding any more nutrients. So just let the plants uh, slowly die. Not necessarily die, but uh, go into their hibernation or dormant state. Try to show you a picture of the harvest here. Not bad, eh? If uh, I got pepper right below me. Been getting about uh, one of these buckets probably uh, twice a week. Or, le or uh, last two weeks about once a week, but before that I was a it was really pumping them out. That, my friends, is one big harvest. Yeah, baby. Well, I couldn't be happier with the harvest I had this year. It was just absolutely amazing. And uh, still getting some nice sized strawberries here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pick the remaining strawberries. Uh, there's some gray mold. Hang on, look at that. Yep, nasty stuff. Well, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the strawberries. Uh, Pull the plants out, check out the roots, and then uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up. I was really impressed how uh, these strawberries handled the cold so well. Uh, you know, last uh, month and a half, I kept thinking that was my last harvest, my last harvest. But uh, these th things uh, hung in there. I was really, really impressed. Well, the proof is in the pudding. Not bad for a uh, Halloween uh, strawberry harvest day. Eh? Not bad at all. As you can see, if I had the time, uh, I'd move some of these plants into the my greenhouse. I still have a whole bunch that could uh, ripen up, but we're buying a new house and uh, gotta start packing stuff up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling these plants. Uh, I pretty much neglected this thing over the last month. I've uh, only added water. I I didn't add any uh, any nutrients, and their roots are probably gonna be pretty brown. But it's just amazing the abuse that these things took. If I can squeeze them out, you can see the brown there. Pretty nasty, not what you're looking for. All right, well, I got it all pruned up, so I mean, check out the roots. Actually, you can see the curve as it grown in, grown with the pipe. And you know, that's kind of one of the reasons why I really like uh, hydroponics, other than that, uh, it grows really awesome, but uh. Just being able to check out the roots and see how the plant grows and survives in this type of uh, environment. I just pruned off the tip of those roots there and look how thick uh, that root mass is. Pretty impressive. All right, well I got pruned down, got the roots pruned out. That's the only way you can get out of the net cup. And uh, then I'll transplant them into uh, I have a little old snow sled for my kids and uh, just threw some leftover compost and stuff in there. And, uh, I'll toss them in there, and then uh, when we get to our new place, we'll uh, I'll build a new strawberry bed. Yeah, there. Look at the size of this one. It's just uh, amazed how big these got this year. I am really happy with a seascape. It's an everbearing, and I definitely will keep growing. We I mean, we got this one massive plant, and that's the root system there. Let's see if I can get a better look. Just amazing. These end up turning into really nice sized plants there. I mean, look at the size of these. That's one plant there. Let's see if we can get a better look at the roots. I actually got a worm that crawled in uh, into my system. I have no idea how in the world he made it up that high, but uh, he made it in there. All right, bud. Compost pile. Well, there's the trimmings from all the strawberry plants. What a pile. 
This from a 18 strawberry plant. Kind of weird seeing this. Uh, seeing this empty. I've had uh, plants in it from for the last six months. And the cool thing about this uh, little system here, it takes up so uh, takes up such a small amount of space. Uh, it's maybe three feet wide on the sides and about six feet long there. And it hold and uh, this system holds 18 plants. You don't have to bend over to pick up strawberries. You just walk up, <clears throat> come home after work, walk over, grab a little bowl, pick some strawberries, go inside. Don't get dirty. And uh, one of the cool things I noticed is uh, slugs and pests. Uh, I had almost no problems with uh, with either of them. The only issue I had was uh, I actually had slugs get into the reservoir. And that actually uh, happened quite a bit, but they crawl in the reservoir and die. So, end up a little bit of a mess there, but they didn't mess with the strawberries at all. Well, when I first uh, built this system, that's what I envisioned, uh, or hoped for, uh, you know, coming out here and uh, just having loads and loads of strawberries, and uh, I couldn't be happier. Um, we had a really nice harvest there around the end of June and, and July, and really stoked, and there's a little bit of a down period there with uh, Everbearing. Um, but towards there, around August, uh, September really start kicking in, and every time I thought the system would uh, die out or the strawberries would die out, um, I just kept getting another harvest after harvest. Uh, the second season harvest was just unbelievable, absolutely amazing. And uh, these guys lasted from uh, spring through the heat of the summer, through the cold of a uh, of fall, and uh, just performed awesome. Just performed awesome. And if I would have compared these. Uh, the system with my uh, strawberry beds it's not even comparison this is like a like cheating we end up with pounds and pounds of strawberries this year it's just uh, absolutely amazed um, I couldn't be happier and really excited about this hydroponics uh, it's definitely for me it's definitely the way to go well, guys I'm going and wrap this up it's been an awesome uh, five to six months growing growing with this tower and uh, if you have any questions I got some uh, a link there on videos of the I show the, the nutrients I use and how I got the system started and other stuff like that so all right take care and have a good one